Hey, everybody. Can you hear me? Hi, Pastor. Hey, it's Francie and Carlos. Hey, guys. Hi. And I see Nancy and hey, John, Marilyn. How are you guys? Who else? Who else is on here? I'm here, Pastor. Hey. <laughs> God bless you guys. Thank you for, for joining us. And uh, praise God. Praise God. Let's study the word of God. Uh, just so you know, I, I went to see Ezekiel earlier this morning. He did lose his foot uh, just below about four inches below the knee. So it's going to take him a little while to, to, to rehab and, and get strong again. But he's in good spirits and he's praising God. And, and he understands that he is the example for his family. He's going to, he's going to serve Christ. He's good. He's good. I also saw Donna earlier. She had the procedure. And she's back home, and she's strong, and, and she's ready to go. Praise God. Praise God. Let's have prayer. Who, who can open up with prayer? Kind Heavenly Father, we come to you thanking you for everything that you do for us. Bless us, Lord, as we go into the Sabbath. And give us a special blessing that we can share with others. Man, yes. Help us, Lord, to be worthy of your um, Holy Spirit sent to us by wiping us clean, Lord, of all the uh, filth that we have in our lives. Yes. Be with our pastor and help him to give us a special blessing this evening. Amen. And again, thank you for everything that you do. We ask all this in your name. Amen. Amen. And yes, thank you, brother. Thank you always. And I just saw Donna. Did I just see Donna? Yep. So there's Donna. God bless you, sister. Welcome home. And there's Michelle. You got to uh, unmute so we can hear you, sister. Well, welcome back. So, so let's open our Bibles. Let's let's go to Daniel chapter one. Let's go to Daniel chapter one. We're going to read verse three and four. Okay, Daniel chapter one, three and four. So far, so far, uh, the enemy came. They surrounded Jerusalem. They destroyed the city. Okay? They destroyed the city. Maybe you know it took a little while. They, they, there was a siege. No food could come in. The people were starving. There was sickness. It, it was not a very a pleasant experience. Daniel with his family, his friends, the servants of God suffered, suffered. And it, it's sad that it just so happens that those who serve Christ, they also suffer because of rebellion and, and because of the love of sin. And so so uh, the walls come down, the, the, the armies of Babylon come in and there is slaughter, there is blood in the streets. I, I read somewhere that the bodies were piled the, on the steps of, of the uh, of the temple. And so it, it, it was it was a disaster. It was terrible. So let's read verses three and four. And and the king and the king spoke to who is that fellow there? What is his name? Ashpenaz. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He was the master of the eunuchs. Okay, so the king speak, speaks to his to the captain of the eunuchs, the, the master of the eunuchs, and and he says that they should bring certain of the children of Israel. Watch this now. The king's seed. Hold on to this now. The princes, the children in whom there is no blemish. Those who were well favored skillful in, in all wisdom and, and, and knowledge and understanding of, of, of science. And 
those who had the ability to stand in the king's palace. Those that could learn, that they could teach their learning of the tongue of the Chaldeans. So, so the first thing Babylon does is they bring, they bring the servants of God that they try to change their, their character, change who they are. And remember, this is, this, is, this is what the sinner does. The sinner is not satisfied with his sin. He's going to try to bring you into sin. The sinner is going to try to separate you from truth, se separate you from God, separate you from salvation. Now remember, that they're bringing, they're bringing those who were skilled in, into Babylon. They're bringing, they're bringing those who are doctors, those who are teachers. They're bringing those who can con contribute to the growing, the improvement of the empire. Those who could grow the empire. The farmers, well, nobody needs the farmers. Yeah, they're dirt farmers. The peasants, nobody needs the peasants. They, they brought, brought to Babylon those who were teachers, doctors. But, but as we read the, these two verses, okay, verse 3 and 4, I want you to see that even though Babylon is, is a pagan empire, they worship the devil, they worship evil, that we can see that here we have an example of the children that Christ is taking to heaven. Think about this. Think about this. The king's seed. Who is the king's seed? Who? His children. His children, amen. Uh, Galatians 3.29, if, if you would like to uh, turn there. to Galatians 3.29. If you believe in Christ, then you are the seed of Abraham. Who is the seed of Abraham? Who is Israel today? Who? We are. We are those who love Jesus Christ. Those who love Jesus Christ so much that they keep his commandments because they love him. And those who believe the word of Jesus so much that they live by the faith of Jesus. These are the people that Christ has taken to heaven. No blemish. No blemish. Let's turn to 1 John, uh, 1 John 1 7. What can make us clean? 1 John 1 7. What can make us clean? Blood of, blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. Amen. The blood of Jesus. These are the people that Jesus is coming for. Those who are made clean by the blood of the Lamb. How about wisdom? Help me out here. What gives us wisdom? What gives us wisdom? A blessing from God. The blessing from God? Watch this now. Watch this now. My phone just went off, so let me let me get rid of that phone. Okay. The the blank blank is the beginning of wisdom, it's the beginning of understanding, it's the beginning of, of, of knowledge. The help me. The blank the, the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord, amen. Praise God. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Okay. Uh who is well favored? Matthew 5. We find those who are well favored in Matthew 5. Jesus is, is giving a, 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 he's teaching. Jesus is teaching. And he says, blessed are the, and we have a list. Poor in spirit. The poor in spirit. Who are the poor in spirit? Those who do not believe? No, those that uh, will accept Jesus Amen. and his teaching. Amen. They're not too proud of themselves. Thank you, brother. Those who, those who have abandoned pride. Okay. Blessed Amen. are the poor in spirit. Okay. Blessed are those who mourn. Blessed they are shall the be comforted. Yes. Should they inherit the earth? Blessed are those who are hungry for righteousness. Righteousness sake. Amen. Amen. Blessed are the 
Merciful. 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 Blessed are the pure. Amen. Blessed are the pure. Meek. The meek. Blessed are the peacemakers. Makers. Amen. Now Amen. watch this. Okay. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of. For my sake. For Christ's sake. Yes. Because they love Jesus. I don't know if you've ever been in the situation that you love Jesus and the people around you had enough of your love for Jesus and they want nothing to do with you. Amen. That's going Amen. to take, yes, that's going to take place in our lives and sometimes within our own family. Amen. That, that, please let your family know that your relationship with Jesus Christ is the real deal. Amen. Now, now Amen. I, want us, I want us there's something really interesting. I want us to turn to Isaiah 33. Let's turn to Isaiah 33. And, and we find out exactly in Isaiah 33, verse 14 and 15. Let me know when you have it. Okay. We find out exactly who is going to stand in the king's palace. Now we're looking at at, at Babylon, we're looking at Babylon, and we can see the example because the Bible was written for us who live in the last days for us to have comfort. So from from the example that Babylon takes God's children, we can see ex ex exactly who's going to stand in the king's palace. First of all, who's the king? Who is the king? The Lord, the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Did we find Isaiah 33? Yes. Okay, let's go to verse 14 and 15. And this is incredible. I, I want you to put this in your heart. I want you to make notes. I want you to have it, you know, on the back of your Bible, in your pocket, and inside of your coat, because some of us live up, up there where people, poor people, they're, they're dug in in the snow. <laughs> so put it inside your coat so you can take a peek at it. But, but this is incredible. Verse 14 and 15, watch this now. The sinners in Zion are afraid. The sinners are afraid. Fear has surprised, uh-oh, who? Who? Hypocrites. Yes, yes. These are people who don't say what they mean, don't mean what they say, right? Is that what it is? Amen. These are people who could say that they love Jesus Christ, but you know, I don't have, I don't really have time right now. So, so the sinners in Zion, the sin, sinners in the house of God, the sinners in God's church are afraid. Fear has surprised the hypocrites. And, and, and take a look at the question. They say one to another, because Jesus is coming. Remember, Jesus is coming. They say one to another. Who among us shall dwell with devouring fire? Now, if you're a person who believes that there is a hell fire and people are going to suffer forever and ever, this question has another meaning. And if you are someone who loves Jesus Christ and, and you, you would rather believe Jesus than, than the foolish, foolishness of men, then this is an incredible question. The sinners are asking, the sinners in the church are asking one another, which one of us can live in the devouring fire? Again, devouring fire. Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burning, forever burning? And, and I want us to think and, and realize how the devil will take the word of God and twist it and pervert it. Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burning? Now look at the answer. He that walks righteously will dwell with everlasting burning. He that speaks uprightly will dwell in everlasting burning. He that despises the gain of oppression. He that shakes his hands from holding the, the, the bribe. He that 
stops his ears from hearing uh, blood and, and, and crying. He that shuts his eyes from watching evil. And, and friends, today, you know, and, you know, thanks to Hollywood, we watch a lot of evil. When I say we, I'm speaking about the, the population. You know, we watch a lot of evil. We, we, we have grown to love the evil that Hollywood feeds us. Who will live with everlasting burning? Wait a minute, Pastor. Are those who are righteous, or those who despise the gain of oppression, are those who love Jesus going to hell? Is that what this is saying? No. What is everlasting burning? What if is everlasting burning? On fire for Jesus. Our Lord comes. His glory is a consuming fire. You remember Adam and, and his wife? Do you know that Adam and his wife were not naked until they took of the forbidden fruit? Did you know that? Once they, they disobeyed God, then they saw that they were naked. But before they sinned, what were they covered by? The righteous robe. Amen. They were covered by the glory of God. The wicked are not going to live in everlasting burning. No, no, no. The Bible tells us there'll be ashes under our feet. Those who love Jesus will live in everlasting burning. Those who love Jesus will live in the glory of God clothed, surrounded with a bright, incredible glory of God. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. We, we need a prayer warrior. Who can lead us in prayer? And please remember the sick. There's so many sick. So many. You know, I went in, in, in the hospital. Again, I was in the hospital today and Oh, it's nonstop. People coming in and sick. And, and now, and you know, when you buy a car, I don't know if this has ever happened to you. When you buy a car and you're driving it, it, it seems like everybody around you has your make and year. Has that ever happened to you? No? Yes. Yes. You buy a car and you're driving down the road and you see other people bought the same car. Well, I've, I've got and the same this. color. What's that? And the same color. And the same color, amen. Well, I got this bad hip. Okay. I, I, I got this bad hip. So I'm sitting in the hospital, just sitting around, hanging out at the hospital. And I see that everybody around me ha it, it either has a bad hip or a bad knee. I never, I never before noticed how many people hurt. After a certain age, how many people walk either with a limp or, or, or they hold the, their they hold their back? It's incredible. So please let, let's pray for the sick. Let's pray for those who are hurting. I need a warrior. I need a prayer warrior. I'll pray. Amen. Thank you, sister. Let's bow our heads. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father. Come close and be with us. Yes. Be with us tonight as your wonderful Sabbath begins. We need you near us, dear Lord. So many of our uh, friends and relatives are hurting and need you badly. Please be with Ezekiel and, and with his family. Amen. I'm sure it's a very difficult time. And he needs you so much, dear Lord. And he is a lo loyal soldier for you. And also, please be with Kevin. He has having the same problem with his foot. And they haven't decided to, to
take its foot yet and please help him to keep his foot if yes. it's at all possible, dear Lord. Amen. And so many of our parishioners are not feeling well and they need you, dear Lord. Amen. We all need you, even those of us who are well. Yes. And we pray for each other. We are a wonderful church family, and we need each other, and we need you most of all, dear Lord. Yes. Yes. So please be with all of us mm. on this beginning of this wonderful Sabbath day. And thank you for all your blessings, dear Lord. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank Amen. You. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for all. Your all. Keep looking at Jesus. Amen. 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 Happy Sabbath. Happy Michelle. Sabbath.